When Alexander was 13, his father, Philip II, was offered the horse Bucephalus for the price of 13 talents. Bucephalus, meaning ox head, was extremely large but also wild and untamable, so for all of his potential, Philip did not wish to buy him. Alexander, on the other hand, was fascinated by him and said that if he was unable to tame him, he would pay for Bucephalus himself. Philip agreed to the bet. Alexander spoke soothingly to Bucephalus before turning him to face the sun so that he was no longer looking at his shadow, which he had previously been scared by. With Bucephalus calm and subdued, Alexander was allowed to keep him. He then said to Alexander, O oh my son, look thee out a kingdom equal to and worthy of thyself, for Macedonia is too little for thee. From then on, Bucephalus served Alexander in battle, even having a city, Bucephala, named after him. Bucephalus' legend grew, with many stating that he was both born and died at the same time as Alexander. This story demonstrates Alexander's ability to conquer what was previously unconquerable, achieving this through intelligence, not brute force, and demonstrates that Alexander was fated to do great things from an early age. It has come to symbolize the power of intelligence over strength, and for this reason it is depicted as statues in city centers today. In Edinburgh, a statue of it was erected to stress the intellectual nature of the city. As a representation of brute strength, Bucephalus is the antithesis of Alexander, an example of how opposites can work together, echoing the assimilation Alexander enforced on his empire. By giving Alexander a horse such as Bucephalus, the parallel with Achilles and his immortal horses, Baileus and Xanthus, is obvious. The comparison of the two, both demi-divine war heroes, would have only increased Alexander's perceived greatness. As such, Bucephalus was able to represent for Alexander everything that helped make his legend so great. He was a conqueror, intelligent, and as divine as any human could be.